want to talk? About what? Being betrayed by my friends? Spending three months at the North Pole for nothing? And I didn't even get to go to Comic-Con. <laughs> I'm sick. Sad is not sick. Oh, sorry, I don't know your sad song. No, I don't have a sad song. I'm not a child. <laughs> well, you know, I do understand what you're going through. Really? Would you just have the Nobel Prize in waitressing stolen from you? <laughs> well, no. But uh, when I was a senior in high school, one of my friends heard I was going to be named head cheerleader. Oh, I was so excited. My mom even made me a celebration pie. Then they named stupid Valerie Mossbacher head cheerleader. Big ol' slut bag. Are you saying that you think a celebration pie is even remotely comparable to a Nobel Prize? Well, they're pretty tasty. <laughs> and on a different but not unrelated topic, based on your current efforts to buoy my spirits, do you truly believe that you were ever fit to be a cheerleader? <laughs> Look, Sheldon, I just don't think that the guys and, and Leonard really meant to hurt you, you know? You just told an unfortunate lie to deal with a difficult situation. Okay, you know what it's like? Remember the scene in the new Star Trek movie when Kirk has to take over the ship? So he tells Spock all that stuff he knew wasn't true, like saying Spock didn't care his mom died. I missed Comic-Con and the new Star Trek movie. <laughs>